Hi, my name is Allison Korczynski. I'm an electrical engineer at Microsoft, and I work on the Surface Hardware team. Long story short, I, my career path that's led me to Surface um, has been actually more of a surprise. <laughs> um, when I first started electrical engineering, I knew I just liked math. I didn't really think I liked computer science at all. <laughs> um, and, and it was silly, but I was like, oh, math, math, math. And so um, my very first programming class was assembly, and I didn't realize how much fun it was to debug things. And so I started out kind of learning more software things, but very basic circuits, very basic EE fundamentals. And then um, kind of throughout my undergrad, I wanted to kind of start getting more into the electrical side of things, kind of shy away, take my um, programming knowledge and apply it to more embedded systems kind of um, applications where you get to build things. I love being hands-on. So um, I was really focused in circuits and analog and even just kind of the software hardware interface. I loved that. Um, I did a lot of internships. I had my first internship introduced me to hardware and it was chip design, like chip level verification. And um, I programmed at my first internship. I didn't do any hardware. I didn't solder or board level stuff. I programmed a GUI, graphical user interface. And it, it was really cool because it kind of gave me a really neat interface and introduction into hardware, which is where I am now. People can use software in a hardware setting. And uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of hardware, like design, chip design, is programming. And, um, and I wouldn't expect myself to like programming at first. Um, and, you know, taking classes, taking all, doing the path that I did, I was really surprised to be, understand how much I appreciate it, how you can't have hardware work without the software. My sophomore year, I took an embedded systems class. And that is when I started realizing that I really like the integration of hardware and software, that you make things. You know, you, you make something that someone is going to use every day, um, which is why I'm interested in computer electro uh, consumer electronics. Um, I would program, you know, it would be anything from a temperature sensor and say, oh, hey, well, I'm reading this one little resistor that has a certain value. I'm, kicking in an analog value and I have to figure it out in software how to turn it into an LED or you know some LED display or have it be uh, show up as as writing or um, and I really I don't know I just loved building stuff and and uh, ever since that class I've been wanting to learn about hardware in electrical engineering men and women think differently and I think, I think they do. They're both great in their own ways. It's just kind of like when, when male engineers say, oh, I treat you the same way I treat everyone else. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that because I think that sometimes I think women are more collaborative where um, sometimes, this is general, general population, um, sometimes I think men are more hierarchical. And, um, you know, I, I think that just kind of, you know, Sometimes I ask questions because I want to know more information. I don't necessarily want to be told how to do it, but sometimes I know that I've worked with coworkers that take it as, hey, we, you know, okay, this is what you do. And it's just like, no, no. <laughs> and so I, I just think that just all of us need to be aware of how we all think differently. I do feel sometimes that because I am, have a bubbly personality, because I, and more social than others, um, that people kind of don't necessarily see the technical side. And um, so I have, I have experienced obstacles. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's kind of like you feel like you have to prove yourself more. You have to be ready to support, you know, if, if someone immediately questions you or says, well, I don't even know why you did that, you know, or something, you have to immediately be ready to, like, you know, it, you, it, it can't always be a, I think this. You have to kind of prove that you know your, your knowledge, you know, that you know what you're talking about. Every year, I make a Halloween costume, and one way I feel like I'm creative as an engineer is through my Halloween costumes. Um, I always try to put circuits in my costumes. <laughs> so, um, I, last year, well, this year I was a, a geeky Girl Scout.
So I get all these patches, and then I want to like work with conductive thread. I want to work with um, you know LEDs, and um, so this here is kind of fun, and I like to make shoes that have circuits in them. Um, but last year I was uh, Operation, the Operation game, and so uh, <laughs> I had conductive fabric, I had conductive thread, I had like metal tongs and batteries, and I literally, you know, it's a simple circuit, like ooh, but I don't know, it was just really fun to, to make every little part of that, and you know, literally I had stuff that um, you could pull off, and then if you touch the side, it, I had a LED that would blink, or like, you know, light on, and, and it had a little buzzer. I just love being creative in like, in different ways, and so um, wearables is my technology that I really like getting into. I know that there's a lot of women out there who want to be hands-on, who want to build stuff, who want to, and I think that they somehow need to, you know, understand and, you know, either in high school that, you know, there's a lot you can do with programming. There's a lot you can do with hardware. Like, it's such a, engineering is such a great field. Even just, I don't know, just embedded systems in general, it's like you, you did that, you know? You made that ladies blink. Like, you wrote something that, hey, you see something visibly, you see something, you see a robot move, you see, you know, it's, it's just neat to see these things happen. You're not pushing a button, you're, you're like, you know, programming it to do something autonomously and that epiphany that you get after you've solved the problem, after, you know, perhaps why I miss, sometimes I miss software and, and programming is because like, when it works, I mean, even in hardware, you debug something, and when you finally figure out what the problem is, you finally figure out how to fix it, or at least in, to what your, your, your requirements are, it's like such an amazing feeling. Because you did that, and, or you worked with a team of people to figure it out, and um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's just something that you can be proud of yourself for.